Some call it controversial. Others say it's a lifesaver in time for the onset of a second wave of coronavirus. And all women's EMS service in Brooklyn finally gets an ambulance after overcoming naysayers in the city who tried to prevent it from happening. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports now from Borough Park. Four-month-old Sarah Richter sleeps peacefully, even in the pouring rain. She's a miracle. They are a miracle. Hani Richter is talking about the volunteers of the all-women's EMS organization, Ezra's Nashim, who helped deliver her at home. She came too fast. I had no labor, so I called Ezra's Nashim because they were on my speed dial. Then two minutes flat, they turned my bathroom into, an, into a hospital room. But then 911 had to be called. She only wishes then that the group had this $100,000 ambulance, which just just arrived. Online donations helped purchase it as well as a $50,000 stretcher. The reason there's a need, some say, is because in the Orthodox Jewish community, modesty is a fundamental value. Men and women who are not married don't touch each other. For 50 years, Hatsola, the men's volunteer ambulance corps, has served the community, but it does not accept women paramedics. In an emergency situation, and I am sitting there undressed or I need to whatever it is, I don't want a man there. No, I don't feel comfortable with that. that. That's not my choice. So after years of fighting for an ambulance so it could speed up response, in August, the State Department of Health finally gave Ezra's Nashim the approval, months after the application had been rejected by a city committee over concerns patients would be confused who to call. How does it feel to be now sitting? Yeah, it's like a dream. I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> it's wonderful. We finally grew from such a small group to something so big, you know, to have our first ambulance on the streets. It got busier. Yeah. The group is finalizing paperwork that state inspectors need before coming out to give the ambulance the okay. They hope to have it up and running and serving the community in the next several weeks. In Borough Park, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And the organization is also in the process of filling the ambulance with specific supplies and equipment required by the state.